um, now we can just work strategies so I will use two uh, the first one is the basic authentication strategy and the second one is uh, the JWT so the basic already um, happy JS already did that for us so we just need to install it and register that strategy uh, with our application so if you don't know the basic authentication means this route will be activated or you can say the function that is registered for this route will be activated if a specific rules uh, applies and in the basic authentication uh, strategy the username should be a valid username in the database and the password should be a valid password in the database so and these two things the username and the password should be sent with the headers this is the basic authentication so each request you send just send the password and the username in our case the username will be the email um, so basically why I'm using this because this is the authentication module or the authentication strategy for the login route so the login route will only be activated if you send the email and the password with them and the JWT will just be there to secure every other route need that needs to be secured and just to extract uh, the ID for that user that sent the request so when the user saves a specific post or comment or whatever we know which user saved that so we can save it in the database so I will put a link in the description for these the happy basic and the happy auth JWT uh, too I will use that as well so let's start so in our index of TypeScript at the beginning uh, let me move this here so I can cheat um, yes uh, after the connection so I will register two things so I wait server dot register and this to re this is just to register new uh, plugins you can create your own plugins but one of the plugins that we they we already installed or I already installed is the basic uh, the JWT you need to install these two and their types this is the types for the basics and this is the types for the JWT you can look at the package.json in the repo and just require them here so require the happy JWT and also wait and here import the basic okay and after this so now um, happy js knows what plugins we are using but we need to register the strategies so server dot uh, auth dot strategy so this is our the name we can call this anything we want so for the basic i'll call it simple so you can change you can change the name of the strategies uh, i think you can google about these strategy strategies they are basically uh, a part of the OAuth uh, I'm not sure what to call it but it's just part of the OAuth uh, maybe specifications the authentication uh, strategies the simple is one of them or the basic it's called basic so this is the original name of the strategy it's called scheme and the third argument is the options one of them is the validate this is the function that will be executed whenever we are trying to do basic authentication so for now i will put it as an empty string but this is uh, wrong okay uh, so let's let's create that this function okay so inside our root so let's create a uh, to type script and let me just uh, open that so um, yeah, one second. My sl my internet is a little bit slow. I think I can just uh, so import from type RM the connection and the repository. Then I will export const. 
uh, the validate basic function. So I'll just call it like this. This is a function, a normal function that accepts the connection we have and returns an async function. So this is a way how we can uh, like use the connection we have after we just uh, or not so sorry we, we this basic validate function should be an fun, a normal function or a synchronous function that accepts a couple of things okay I just forget what I said earlier it earlier uh, okay so this function the validate basic would re would re would receive the request itself the happy request so let me import this also and it will accept the username and the password these are extracted from the headers and it will also accept this response toolkit but I want to use the connection right and the framework itself will call this function for me so a way to solve this issue is to create a, a function that accepts the connection and returns this function when uh, it's executed so how will we use this so instead of just putting this here, we will just call it and pass the connection and it's just imported uh, from half. Okay, this is nice. And what we will do, I will just get the user repository like this. and the user repository variable and the connection variable by the way or argument will be available inside this retained function this is called the closure by the way if you want to google that i mean these values are still exist even we even though we retained a value from the function it's a, it's a little bit weird but it's called the closure if you want to read about it mtn documentation have a very good explanation why this is why this works and what closures are in javascript but yeah, so what we will do from the user repository, we will find one with the email, using the email. So the username in our case will be the email, and we will find one based on that. Now, if we don't have a user, uh, we will return credentials not is valid false. So happy.js looks for this variable is called is valid. So if this is false, it will, uh, blocks you from uh, continuing the or not blocks you it will just throw an error the unauthorized error and this credentials object this will be exist uh, for example if you go to our routes inside our request that we have the auth object and inside of that we have the credentials so this credentials object inside the request is the same one we return here so we can anything we return from this function will exist in our request object which is very nice so we will use this uh, when we define our login route so if we don't have user just throw an error now let's check if the user is valid so is valid would be equal to await on yeah await the hash from this package so let's hash what the user send so the password with the user dot salt the user we already have by the same email right if that is equal to the user dot password that um, we already have this is the hashed password this is the pass it's not the password that is not hashed we will hash it with the same salt if these two are equal this means this is valid user uh, so let's delete the user dot password and also delete uh, the user dot salt and return is valid is valid so we don't need to repeat it again and the credentials will be the user so i'll pass this to the route and save and i'll just put uh, a note for you if you look at this so credentials object passed back to the application and request to path to the credentials okay just this is very important and now our basic uh, authentication just works so let's define uh, our login route here uh, 
add one second let me open that so I won't type it from my memory because I will keep just uh, recording the video over and over again and path will be login and this is the hand up so I'll just return for now the payload and console log path put credentials so let's log the user and let's just return uh, the payload with the user like this why not right and to tell happy js that this route should be guarded with a specific strategy you will pass uh, an option so options options uh, object uh, path you can just pass false if you pass true this will use the default authentication so we can register this register that like this dot uh, dot default and you put the name but i won't use this i will just define it here so earth would be equal to another object that we will pass strategy to simple which is the same way defined here the same string we defined here the same name uh, this should handle that so let's test it so npm ts run ts node dev index to timescript um, yeah so I'll just show you what will happen if we did not send um, the authentication credentials correctly okay so I have this route localhost 3000 false slash login and as you can see the body uh, should be empty I forgot <laughs> so this should be empty and the go to the authorization and select basic auth just remember the body is empty nothing here go to the authorization and select basic auth and this will appear the username and the password and remember every password we have when we fake the users is secret but the email is different so I need to get that email as I need I need to get an email from the database so hopefully this will run fast okay get any one of them where is the cursor okay so put this here uh, and if by the way if you are curious what this would look like in any language you can press on code uh, here and it will show you so on JavaScript using fetch this is how you send the authorization so authorization basic and not sure where is the maybe when I send it so I'll send let's look at the code so basically this is how you use it okay but yeah there's a lot of options PHP Python uh, so as you can see this is the user well, like I return that right so user is a credentials which is the user without the password and the assault and if you remember inside our path to TypeScript we added that so credentials is the user which is correct and the payload is not because we don't send any data which I don't need I don't need this uh, okay so save but what happened if I um, did not use the basic auth just send a normal request for that this will give me unauthorized which is correct this is what I want let's say I also so but sent a, a wrong email so this is already wrong because each time it's uh, randomized users but let's just put anything here so test at gmail.com send this is also unauthorized but look notice the message so bad username or password so they also handle this for us so in this case we just secured our login uh, route and make it only work in the basic when the basic auth 
uh, requirements is available or is, or is present by passing a username and a password with the email and the password in the headers. And the next step is to retain the user JWT with the user object. So we can do it just right now. So I will retain the object, the user, which is distracted. I will distract it in another object like this. And the access token will be equal to sign. So the, the credentials, which is the user, and this key, which is which should be the same key you use. Uh, so as you can see, I used it also here in the register. And when we register our strategy, which is just like, just like the basic strategy, we register that. We will also register that JWT in the next video to secure any other route. So we will add the end uh, to the routes that we need to secure. We will put this, but with JWT. So we also need to create our uh, validate JWT function, which will look very similar to this. So save. Now when the user logs in, the user should see uh, a valid data. So test, test again, and again. Yeah, oh yeah, uh, unauthorized because this is a valid, not a valid username, so it's not a valid email, so let's get that. So this is correct and very nice. So yeah, let, just like I said, the only thing left is just to define uh, our strategy, the JWT, to secure other routes. So we will secure the routes in the user controller. So maybe after that, I can create uh, authorization. So a user can only see his posts, something like this. Um, yeah, that's it for the basic authentication and the login.